This is another way to use the same materials again. So the same cupcake tray, just paper and something to throw in. So your um, Play-Doh or your ball. Yeah? Is that good for your boys and girls? It's for, yeah, any boys and girls who want to help with their reading. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Um, so again, have the little thing to throw in, your little pom-pom, your little bit of Play-Doh. Throw it in and they get the word here. So you can take the word out for them. Get them to sound it out. Wet. Wet. What's that? What word rhymes with wet? Um, whatever word they come up with, you can write it down on your piece of paper. Wet. The word is wet. So what about set? Do they sound the same? Wet and set. Yeah? Mm. Wet and set are the same. They are the same. They rhyme. Um, so we have the rhyming word there. Now, if you want, you can put it back in. And if they get the same one again, they can come up with another one. Or you can take it out all together and get them to target a different one instead. So we'll keep going. Oh, I missed this one here. Cat. So can you think of a word that rhymes with cat? Um, maybe they'd say mat and help them sound it out. Mm mat. And again. It's a bit like cat. Yeah, they rhyme. Um. If your child is doing the writing, remember what we said before, doesn't matter what they write once they're making an attempt to sound it out. So whatever way they hear it, that's grand. The important thing is that Mommy, they're writing the way they think. Yeah. That one looks more like a green barrel. Does it? Okay. Um, so keep going with that until you have your list of words um, and I'll show you then what to do next. So following on from that little rhyming activity there, um, take a few of the ones that, um, that your child came up with rhyming words for. You have them written here. Either you wrote them or they wrote them themselves. Remind yourselves of the words by reading through them, stretching out each one. Wet, wet, cat, cat, him, him, cot, cot, rug. Rug. So again, remembering not to say each sound on their own, but blending them together because that's how we hear the words. So then you take one of the words that you came up with together, bug. Can you find the rhyming word? Now, depending on how confident they are, they might be able to just say, oh yeah, it's rug. And they'll point to it and you can put it there. If not, go one at a time. Wet and bug. Do they rhyme? No, and then go until you find the one that it actually does rhyme with. Okay, um, go through like that. Each word at a time, obviously, when I'm going to show you what to do next. So you have your list then. Double check it. Wet and set, yes. Cat and mat, yes. Him and Tim, yes. Cot and rot, yes. Rug and bug, yes. Then you get them to close their eyes. You're going to mix them all up. Set a little timer, see how long it takes them to put them back with their rhyming partner again. <laughs> 